Welcome to Blender. In this video we're going to go over the tools menu here on the left. The hotkey for the tool menu is T to hide and show it. The first tool we have is the selection tool. The selection tool starts in box select and the hotkey to change it is W so you can cycle through what kind of selection you have by hitting W. So it starts in box, then you have circle select, then you have lasso select, and tweak. Tweak you can use by just clicking on an object, holding the left mouse button down, and moving the object. And if you hit W, it'll go to box select. Box select, you just left click and drag your mouse, and it can box select what you put into selection. The next one by hitting W is circle select. Circle selected tool with the tool itself is a little wonky. You have to go up here at the top where it says radius to change the radius of the influence. Um, I like to use it in uh, with the hotkey. The hotkey for it is C, and then you can slide your mouse wheel in and out to change the selection radius. You have to right click to cancel the circle select. Uh, the next tool is Lasso Select. You hold your mouse button down and you can draw a selection. So if I mouse around that, it'll select those two. The next tool is the 3D Cursor tool. And it controls the 3D Cursor. And you can just left click and put it somewhere. Or you can hold left click and drag it and drop it where you want to. It's pretty simple. Uh, I said in a video before to recenter it, you can hit shift C and it'll put it back where it belongs. When you bring a new object into the scene, it appears at the 3D cursor. So if we go up here to add, we can add a mesh, uh, we can add a new cube, we'll make a UV sphere. So if I add a new UV sphere, it appears right at the location of the 3D cursor. So if I move the 3D cursor here, and I add another mesh object or any object. So we'll add we'll add a uh, another light source. So we'll add a area light. So that area light comes in right at the 3D cursor. Um, the hotkey to bring objects into the scene is Shift A, and that'll bring up this whole menu that's up here for the add. So if I want to bring in, let's say, uh, a new camera, I can hit Shift A, go down here to camera. And there's my new camera, and I can move it over here. Hit Shift A, mesh, and I need another cube. I can bring in a cube. The next tool is the Move tool. If you click it, it brings up these widgets that you can use to move the cube on a plane. So the X axis, if you grab the red arrow, it moves on the red axis. Alternatively, you can uh, click one of these little squares and it will stay on that plane it won't be able to like the blue one it won't be able to go up and down down on the z axis if i grab the blue one it can only go on the x and y, x and y axis um, same with the other ones the red one only goes on the up and down and forward and backwards you can also do movement with hotkeys so the hotkey for move is G so make sure you have something selected and if you hit G you can move it around or you can choose an axis so if you want to do the Y axis which is the green one you can hit Y after you hit G and it'll stay on the Y axis alternatively you can hit X for the X axis and Z for the Z axis one thing I forgot to mention is when you're using, uh, say, the grab tool, if you hit G to grab it, you can hit it on a plane, but you can also hit, um, let's say we, we grab it and we hit X, and it's moving along that X axis. Well, you can also hit X to move it on the local axis also. Uh, another thing you can do in, when you hit uh, G is hold your middle mouse button, and it will snap to all of the axes. The next tool is the rotate tool. So the rotate tool, uh, if you grab the white part of the rotate tool, you can rotate it on the plane that you're looking at. 
Uh, if you grab the gray area, you can rotate it like it's a trackball. And if you grab a colored ring, it'll rotate on that axis only. The hot key for rotate is R. So if you hit R, it'll rotate. If you hit double R, double R, it'll rotate like a trackball. Uh, if you hit R and X, Y, or Z, it will rotate on those axes. The next tool is the scale tool, and if you click it, it brings up the, the same kind of controls as the other, the grab and the uh, rotate. So if you grab the white ring and scale it, it scales the whole object. Uh, left click and hold it and slide your mouse. Uh, if you grab a colored axis, it will scale only on that axis. So that's the Z axis, the Y axis, and the X axis. You can also scale on a plane. which omits one axis. To scale with the hotkey, you hit S, and just like the other ones, you can use X, Y, or Z. It has one more feature that doesn't have a hotkey that I've found yet, and if you hold left click on there, you can go to scale cage. With scale cage, it brings this up, and you can grab points in the center of the faces. So if I grab this point, it will only scale one side of the object. So you can adjust the size of the object that way. The next tool is the transform tool. If you click it, you get all the transforms at once. So you can grab this one and move it on an axis. You can rotate it on an axis. You can scale it on an axis. You can rotate it on the, like a trackball. It does everything. I would suggest using hotkeys, though. These things, they work, but I feel like they're slower. It's faster just to use a hotkey. One more thing, if you want to clear the rotation, the scale, or the um, position, the grab position, you can hold Alt and hit the corresponding button. So G would put it back at the 3D cursor. Alt G. Uh, Alt R will clear the rotation, and Alt S will clear the scale. This next tool you're seeing in my list is uh, CAD transforms. Uh, we won't be using that for right now, anyhow. Maybe late, way later. But this is an add-on I use that you have to download and install. Uh, the next is the annotate. You can use it to uh, write. Uh, you can also do a line, and you can do polygons. So, and then there's the erase, and you can just erase that. Next, we have our measure it tool. The measure it tool is used to measure things. So you can click and drag and. You can measure something, and you can also select like a point in the middle and, you know, get an angle if you want to. I honestly don't use this much. Uh, we don't need it much for Second Life. And our last tool is the Add tool. If you mouse over the Add tool and you hold down, you can pick between different geometric shapes to create. Um, if you're on Add Cube, you kind of want to angle your view in a way that you can see more than one thing, and I'll show you why. So if I click here and drag, I can create a square. And this square is going to be the, either the bottom or the top of my cube. And when I let go, it activates a second to where I can go up and down with it. So if you're looking straight at straight down at it, you're not going to be able to see that depth. So once you click that, it creates a cube of that size. Another nice thing about this is it creates it right on the plane. And also, if you use it on a object, it'll create the object directly against the object. So it's really nice in that aspect. 
and you can change what you want to create. So if you want to create a cone, make yourself a circle and move it up. And that creates a cone. Uh, every one of these tools, all the things in Blender, when you select them, you can, or when you're done with your operation, it brings up a panel I like to call the operator panel. I don't know what the official term of it is, but you can change things about the object that you're you're bringing in or whatever tool you're using. Uh, so I can change the radius of the bottom of it. I can change the radius of the top of it. I can change the depth of it. And it's a good idea to look at these operator panels every time you do something. So for example, like if we go to the grab, uh, as soon as I grabbed it and move it, it brought up a new operator panel for move. And then you can adjust it here also. And Really, every time you do anything in Blender, check out your operator panel. And down at the bottom, there's a lot of information that you may want to use. So if I hit the hotkey for G, the bottom, the whole bottom of the screen changes to different things that you can do. I uh, definitely want to play with all that stuff. That's it for this video. I hope you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.